Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me. And welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm reacting to MESC 2024, which is Malta's national selection for Eurovision 2024. And from what I can see, there have been, I guess, four heats, and now we're down to just 10 finalists. Uh, and I do recognize a few of the names. I can see Ryan Healy, he was in the running last year as well. Um, and there's some other names that I feel like I've definitely seen before. So yeah, um, I've decided to just react to the recap of the finalists because I feel like reacting to the full songs is probably not going to be that enjoyable for me or you because I'm not expecting Molda to bring that much quality because MESC is usually not the the best national selection we have but I'm reacting to the recap uh, and then I have my iPad right here right here I have my notes on my iPad so I'm going to kind of jot down um, who I like um, while going through them and then at the end I'm going to kind of talk about like a top three five-ish songs that I feel like are the best options for Malta. So, with not much further to add, let's just get ahead with this reaction. And thank you to Misha Erovisha for the recap video, I appreciate it. Let's see. Sarah with Loop. Okay, I mean, it seems fun. Pretty basic. I mean, it's fine, nothing wild. Good voice, I mean, everyone in Malta can sing, we know that. Hmm. Ooh, okay, kinda like this. Honestly? I could jam to this one. Again, pretty basic. Mm, no. No. I don't really like this one. And the chorus seems very, very basic. Okay, we have a nice power ballad by Haley. Okay, girl. Oh yeah, this one is good. Mama, Mara. This one has a little bit more attitude, a little bit more sass to it. I like that one. A girl group moment. Okay. Okay, Mir Miriana. Okay, honestly, this one isn't too bad either. I mean, pretty voice, but again, I feel like this is probably a little bit too basic of a song. <gasps> okay, I like this one. Oh my god, that is so fun. I feel like that could probably be the Tillavert. Ooh, okay. Blah, 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 Okay, that one's pretty fun as well. Ryan Healy. She was the spokesperson for Malta um, last year on 2023. Nice. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty valid, but nothing like, nothing wow about it, I think. I think it was a pretty valid though, you know? But that was all the songs, so let me just, you know, listen to it again and kind of get down with my favorites. Okay, so that was my reaction to the 12 finalists for MESC 2024. And I have written down the five songs that I like the most, or that I was kind of gravitated the most towards, just based on this, like, sh short, like, recap of all the 12 finalists. So, there are in no particular order. Erpa with Sarina, that was the girl group moment. I was kind of enjoying that. 
Uh, the next one is Miriana Conde with Venom. She had a lot of sass, a lot of, you know, attitude, like that. Then I've actually gone with Greta Tuda with Topic Blah Blah. That seemed like a very fun song, and I feel like that could have some great staging. And then I've uh, gone ahead with Matt Black and Banana, because that was also kind of fun and kind of fresh and something that would definitely be memorable. And then the last one is probably my favorite one, and that is Denise with Mara. That was like very adult, very like sexy, and very like sassy, and very like attitude driven. Um, yeah, I feel like she could bring a good performance to the stage, and her voice seemed pretty promising. And it seemed like it wasn't that basic of a song, it had a bit more going forward than some of the others. So that is the five songs that I kind of just, you know, from the first listen was kind of gravitated the most towards, but I haven't listened to it in full length, so, you know, it can of course all change. But that is of course just my opinion, what do you think about the songs for MESC 2024? Please let me know down in the comments below, and as always, you should have a blast until I see you next time. Bye-bye!